Hey guys, welcome back. So after the Philippines, I thought it would be a good idea to share some tips and things that I learned from when I was in the Philippines that I wish I really knew before I went there. So if any of you guys are planning to go to the Philippines, this video is for you. And if you aren't planning to go to the Philippines, I suggest you put it on your list because it's absolutely amazing. But this video isn't to talk about necessarily how beautiful the Philippines is. This is to make the travel to the Philippines way smoother. So without further ado, let's jump in the video. So for my first travel tip, um, I suggest if you're in the Philippines and you want to use a public bathroom or necessarily any bathroom when you're on the go, make sure you stop by the store and get some toilet paper because usually some of the cities are pretty poor and lots of people, I guess, take toilet paper. So most of the public bathrooms in the Philippines do not provide toilet paper, which is way different from America because any bathroom you go has toilet paper. So Spencer and I carried around at least one roll of toilet paper in our bag if we we're going out. So you won't have to worry about oh my gosh i have to go to the bathroom but there's no toilet paper because trust me it's really not fun <laughs> so that ends up bringing me to my second point most of the toilets in the philippines are not flush toilets i'm sure some of you guys if you have traveled you've experienced toilets that aren't flush but for me this is my first time out of the country and being in america most of the toilets here are flush toilets i've never experienced a toilet other than a porta potty that wasn't a flush toilet so when i was going to the bathroom i had no idea how to flush a toilet i didn't i so i just left my pee there at one of the public bathrooms and i'm so embarrassed i literally still can't believe i did that like that's so embarrassing but over time I quickly learned that there's a bucket on the side filled with water and there's a little scoop so when you go to the bathroom you just scoop up the water from that bucket from that bucket and you pour into the toilet until it goes down sometimes it goes from like you know maybe three scoops all the way to 15 scoops of water and don't worry if it looks like it's rising but it will go down okay don't worry it's gonna disappear okay it's fine people do it there every day okay it's fine it's fine don't worry so i also suggest when you go to the philippines you learn a few key words like thank you um where's the bathroom or um hi thank you or i already said thank you but um yes no just simple key words because in the philippines there are different dialects so maybe research ahead what dialect in the philippines they speak like if you're going to a certain island what island like what dialect of their language do they speak in that region you know because it's very important to be grateful like when they drop you off like a trike drops you off you say thank you you know because that language barrier is very difficult thankfully Spencer and I went with his mom and she was able to speak about two to three dialects so she was kind of our translator but when she left early Spencer and I were struggling really bad <laughs> because we didn't really know what anybody was saying although a lot of people there they love Americans or they love travelers Europeans wherever you're from they love foreigners so they're always out there to help and a few of them speak pretty good English so you don't have to worry about it too much but it's always they always appreciate it if you know a few keywords like salamat po which means thank you in Tagalog so there you go that's your first word you need to write down in your little book so another thing I quickly learned as being a huge environmentalist is the Philippines loves plastic okay and that breaks my heart because a lot of these people don't under really understand what they're doing to their environment by using all this plastic so Spencer and I spent a lot of time in the cities and they put a plastic bag on nearly anything if you got a soda can they would put that in a plastic bag and so I kept having to say oh no plastic no plastic thank you like and so they would take it off so the more you tell them no you don't want a plastic bag I'm sure and more tourists come and they say no plastic bags they'll catch on and realize that they don't need plastic bags but that's a whole nother video <laughs> so I suggest if you're going to the Philippines make sure you bring a few mesh bags for groceries um, bring some reusable bags bring whatever kind of bag you need to get your produce your 
groceries if you're shopping for clothes bring your own bag because they'll put anything in a plastic bag so we need to make that change and be smart tourists and think ahead and make sure you bring your own items so you don't have to worry about that oh my gosh <laughs> i got a plastic bag you know so you gotta think ahead another one of the things that i learned super quick was that lots of places in the philippines a lot of the people there have most likely never seen an American. So we spent a lot of the time in the cities and um, a lot of cities that aren't very popular to tourists. So a lot of those people were staring at us anywhere we went. They were staring at us for like five minutes at a time. Anywhere we went and walked around, just, it was like a staring contest, but I wasn't participating. And a lot of the kids there, they get super excited when they see an American, especially since it being their first time seeing an American, they would run up to you, take pictures with you. So a lot of people right now in the Philippines has pictures of Spencer and I, and they're probably showing it around their class and we have no idea. <laughs> I wish I had some of the pictures because they're so cute. Like people would run up to us and be like, oh my gosh, like an American, like can we take a picture? Very cute. But it is a huge culture shock because I'm nowhere famous here in America, but in the Philippines, as soon as you step off <laughs> the trike or the motorcycle, or even when you're driving on a motorcycle, they'll stop what they're doing and they'll just stare at you and be like, like oh my god is that real it's very very different so you need to get used to being the talk of the town when you're there that sounds a little conceited but it's very true like it was very uncomfortable in the beginning because i don't like it when lots of people stare at me in general and then when i'm in a foreign country and everybody's staring at me very weird right but don't worry they just have never seen an american and they love americans so just get used to that, okay? Okay. So for this tip, I think it's like tip number six or whatever, I forgot to count the tips, but it's withdraw enough money in the beginning of your trip. So I suggest either going to your bank and ordering um, pesos before you go to the Philippines, or as soon as you land and you go to the ATM in the airport, you withdraw as much money as you can, as much money as you think you'll need for the trip because a lot of the banks in certain areas, they either can be shut down for a long period of time, they won't have enough money in that time frame, they, their systems will be down, they won't have internet. So it's sometimes super difficult to withdraw money, which is not very fun if you're a tourist and you're relying on the money to get you places. So a lot of the time Spencer's mom, we spent like three days searching for a bank that had money. We'd go every day and they would tell us, oh no, sorry, the system's still down. Oh no, sorry, we don't have enough money. Oh no, sorry, we don't accept this card or whatever the issue was. So I suggest going and ordering enough money before your trip in that conversion. And the bank usually doesn't charge you for conversion fees or international fees. So if you order the money ahead, I think it's the easiest way to do it. And then when you go there, you don't even have to worry about going to the ATM, right? So I think that's one of my favorite tips, okay? <laughs> so in the money aspect of things, I suggest always having cash on you because almost everything you'll purchase in the Philippines will be with cash. I didn't use my credit card or my debit card at all during my whole entire three weeks there unless I was withdrawing money from an ATM. Every little thing was with cash so if you don't have that cash on you most likely you're not gonna get anything and so that's why I highly suggest going to the bank and ordering money or going straight to the ATM when you land to get your money because you'll need lots of cash in order to visit the Philippines so just take a mental note of that or write it down because that one's super important when I was in the Philippines I kept withdrawing money with my debit card at ATMs and at the end of the trip I had over $40 of international fee charges because every time you withdraw money you get a fee okay so that's why in the beginning like how I said I highly suggest you order a lot of money so you don't have to deal with those fees yeah it's not fun to pull out a lot of money but it'll save you a lot of money in the end so if you do get all these charges make sure to go to your bank because they can actually refund you some of those charges so I got refunded about 20 out of the $40 of my international fees when I came back which yeah, $20 isn't a lot, but it's still $20 extra in your bank that is now in your wallet. So yeah, so if you get charged all these international fees, make sure you go to your bank when you get home 
and hopefully they could refund. I mean, who knows, you know? I highly suggest to get a travel credit card because you can't withdraw money from a credit card, but um, if you do use your card, not necessarily in the Philippines, but um, anywhere around the world, you won't have to deal with international fees. So I just actually went to the bank a few days ago and got a travel credit card and I'll get 1.5 to 2 points every dollar spent, which will be a lot. So when I'm paying for plane tickets or hostels or any of that kind of stuff with my credit card online or whatever, I'll get points back, which all those points will accumulate and hopefully I could get a free plane ticket one day or I'll be able to pay for um, a tour or all that kind of stuff with those points that I accumulated. So go to your bank, ask them about a travel credit card if you will be traveling around a lot. So when you're traveling and you have all the money with you, try to get as much small bills as you possibly can because when you have say a thousand pesos, that's around $10 American dollars around there. And um, a lot of people will not have change for a thousand dollars because that is, I mean a thousand pesos because for them that's a lot of money. So they won't have enough change to exchange with you if you're going on a trike or a motorcycle or any of that kind of stuff. So if you don't have small bills, you won't be able to pay or you'll, you'll end up having to pay say a thousand dollars a thousand pesos for like a hundred peso ride you know what i mean make sure you carry small bills because that will save you from having to spend extra money for something pretty cheap okay if you guys really need your phone for anything for looking up things and you want internet and you want to go on instagram and post photos or Use your phone for anything, right? Um, texting each other, whatever. Make sure you get a local SIM card. A local SIM card will give you the local um, data around or whatever. So it's kind of hard when you're in the city to get a SIM card and get it a load and all that kind of stuff. It's too complicated. So I had to like struggle going to different kiosks around um, the Philippines and different stores asking if they have like a SIM card or a load or all that kind of stuff. So if you're going to the Philippines and you want to use your phone, make sure you get a SIM card from the airport and then you could just get loads throughout um, your travels. They have lots of places where you could get a load of data um, when you run out. I wasn't able to use my phone and um, do anything for two weeks, which was nice to disconnect. Like I didn't really need my phone, but if I ever wanted to search something up, like a place to eat, a vegan place or something, I wasn't able to do that. And so it made it very difficult. So make sure you get your local SIM card when you go anywhere at the airport, because it's easy, it's fast, efficient, it will save you lots of stress with your phone. <laughs> so if you're traveling with two to three people, and you guys know how to ride a motorcycle, um, make sure you rent out a motorcycle because it's way, way cheaper to rent out a motorcycle than to hire a trike to take you around all these different places throughout the day. So renting a motorcycle at some places could be about two to four um, hundred pesos versus a trike which could be um, 500 to 1500 pesos if you're going around throughout the day so if you have more people like two to three people get a motorcycle skip out on the trike totally fine but if you're just one person or two people yeah i mean trikes whatever because they pay they charge you for each person on that trike whereas the motorcycle is just that motorcycle you know so it's way cheaper and we learned that at the very end of the trip and I learned that I cannot ride a motorcycle and I should probably learn because I almost ended up killing Spencer and our friend <laughs> on the motorcycle so Spencer ended up quickly learning how to ride a motorcycle there and yeah so get a motorcycle okay because it will be way more beneficial for your pocket I highly suggest researching the places you guys are gonna go like the cities and towns and all that kind of stuff to make your traveling so much more easier and smoother so make sure you find out the boat schedules make sure you find out what city will take you where like what boat will take you to what city which one's the cheapest, um, the most effective, and you could just go online and research all this kind of stuff. Like say you wanna go from um, Dinaga Islands to Shargao. How do you get there, you know? When Spencer and I were um, going from Cebu to um, Sudigao, 
we ended up taking a plane which was a little over a hundred dollars not too bad and it was only an hour plane ride but we later found out at the end of the trip that there was a boat that could have taken us there which was um maybe four or five hours and it was only i think two to five dollars which is way cheaper <laughs> So next time we go um, to Cebu to Sudiga, we're definitely taking a boat because it's only two to five dollars compared to a hundred dollars. So if you're really looking to budget your trip, make sure you research if there's boats that will take you from point A to B rather than getting a plane because the price is obviously going to be inflated. If you don't mind taking a little longer to get from one point to the next, then go through boat. But if you're if you have all the money in the world and you need to go place to place really fast, then there should be a plane. <laughs> Another tip, and this will be my last tip, if you have a restrictive diet, like say you are gluten-free, vegan, plant-based, vegetarian, um, keto, anything like that, and you really, really want to stick to that diet, make sure you pack things ahead of time and really prepare for your meals or like get snacks that are in that diet or lifestyle because when you go to um, countries that are less developed than America, it could be super hard to stick to that restrictive diet. So I am I like to be vegan as much as I possibly can. Like it's something that I want to stick to for the rest of my life. I love being vegan, right? But when I was in the Philippines, it was super, super difficult because I was not super prepared. And we spent a lot of the time in the rural cities and they don't accommodate to that kind of lifestyle. Yes, they did have lots of um, fresh vegetables and fruits everywhere, but you can't get a bunch of protein from that. So I was struggling super bad. I started to get like really iron deficient and tired and I started getting lots of dandruff in my hair because I was not eating properly. My meals really consisted of rice with a few vegetables or noodles with a few vegetables and just fruit here and there. And that's not enough to sustain me, <laughs> especially when I'm running around all day long, jumping off cliffs, swimming in water, and like hiking and running around, you know, that's not enough to sustain somebody. So I started feeling very weak and not very, I was always hungry and it wasn't very good. So if I had prepared like maybe quick oats with some protein powder or like um, protein bars and stuff, I think I would have been a little bit better. It was so hard to find lentils and beans and all that kind of stuff. So I only had beans one day in the Philippines for three weeks. Everything else was literally bread, rice, and vegetables. And it was, wasn't on a huge scale either. So I was always pretty hungry and I wasn't feeling my best. So I know next time to su be super prepared and pack everything ahead of time. What else? But I want to let you guys know if you are on a restrictive diet and you do slip up because of those kind of circumstances, don't beat yourself up because of it because this is your body. You need to nourish your body. And if you're not prepared and you didn't know you had to prepare, then there's nothing you can do and you need to eat. So those are all the tips that I have for you guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting some of my travel vlogs as soon as I get all my content downloaded onto my computer. I know it's taking a while, so I hope that this video um, gets you guys excited to travel, especially to the Philippines, and I hope it gave you some good tips, things that you may have known, things you didn't know. Um, just, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section below what tip you're most surprised about or what tip you already knew i don't know whatever you want to leave in the comment section below leave it because that's freaking awesome so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time peace out